There are all types of amazing artists and groups. We are going to be looking into Afrocopra. We will learn when Afrocopra was created. We will learn about the co-founders, Chef Donaldson and Wadsworth Jarrell. We will talk about the colors that represent Afrocopra. Afrocopra is important for American art. Jeff Donaldson and Wadsworth Jarrell discussed starting an art collective in 1958. It took them 10 years to come together in 1968 at the Studio Museum in Harlem. They had the first Afrocobra exhibit. It brought together leaders and artists across disciplines. They created one of the first collective art murals that celebrated Black achievement called the Wall of Respect for the Organization of Black American Culture after the original was damaged. Jeff Donaldson studied design at the Illinois Institute of Technology, where he earned an MFA and a PhD in African American art history. He wrote Afrocobra's manifesto. He also helped develop the fine arts department at Howard University. Wadsworth Jarrell earned a BFA from the School Art Institute of Chicago, as well as an MFA from Howard University. He also studied commercial art. He was a member of the OBAC and helped create Afrocobra along with his wife, Jay Jarrell, and Donaldson. He taught at several universities, including Howard. Afrocobra first used a lot of browns and grays, but when new members came, they expanded their color pack. The colors resembled black culture. They were bright like how you would see in a lot of black neighborhoods. They, used, they also used the color black for political reasons. Their colors were called Kool-Aid colors and first appeared in 1968 on TV in Chicago. Afrocopa is a really interesting art collective. We learned about Jeff Donaldson and Wadsworth Jarrell. We learned about the colors that Afrocopa used and why they were so important. Afrocopa continues to be an important collective to black history. So you had some uh, teachers that were in Afrocopa? Yeah, when I went to Howard University, um, I was able to work with Frank Smith, who was part of Afrocobra at the time. Jeff Donaldson was the... The co-founder? He was co-founder. He was a dean at Howard also in the fine arts department. I was a painting major. And so I took a color, color theory class with Frank Smith and the painting two class with Frank Smith. And um, he taught me a lot about the importance of using your art to advance the black culture. So we weren't just painting pictures just to paint pictures, but we were painting pictures that had a message. He said that we would we should use bright, bold colors. And also that our paintings should be bigger than a TV so that we're not we are not competing with a TV. Do you have any work that's inspired by you? Or uh, pretty much all my work is inspired. Uh, this t-shirt, well, this sweater I have on right now, um, which was taken from a piece of my painting that I created, is influenced by Afrocopa. The use of color, the movement, it makes your eyes not stay in one particular place, but your eye keeps moving around. Um, how to balance your painting so that your eyes are not just stuck in one particular place. Uh, this piece here is influenced by the use of colors, the bright full colors, um, the line work used to move your eye around the particular face structure, the placement of the different lines, keep your eyes moving and make the image kind of vibrate. Interesting. But the most important part of that I learned from Africa was the fact that your art you're not just painting for art's sake, but you're painting for the culture. You're painting to uplift your community. You're painting the importance of different figures in your community who have helped uplift your community. Also, the fact of the matter, um, using the bright colors to keep the viewer interested in what's going on. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs>
created one of the first collective art Mineta. What? Jeff Donaldson and Wadsworth Jarrell discussed starting an art collective in 1958. It took them 10 years to come together. In 1968, at the Studio Museum in Harlem, they had the first Afro-Cobra exhibit. It brought together leaders in disciplines. They created one of the first collect... No, I can't. (laughs) 